Hey guys, I'm Bree Hans, and I am so excited to walk you through our project on Pettit and Encino today. Uh, it's been a labor of love and there's so many fun details to show you and today is like the big day to reveal all of it. So an important part of our process is really getting to know our clients. Uh, before we ever even get started in designing their home, I truly want to try to understand what they envision and what they want. And it's hard. These clients came to us when I was actually in labor with my second baby girl, Blakely. What I'm sitting in now is this beautiful remodeled home, but we walked into a 1950s, never been updated, traditional ranch style estate. It was overwhelmingly just in poor shape. So to me and my team, that's exciting, right? I'm walking, I'm like, this is worth it. I will meet you any day, one week after I have a baby, if I can get my hands on this. So designing for them was similar to designing for myself. They wanted to transform this traditional ranch style home into a chic modern farmhouse. So we came in and we spruced it up. That being said, we're diving into the entryway. It is what sets the tone for the rest of your house. When you walk in every day, I feel it's something that needs to greet you. When you leave every day or when guests leave, it's something that makes you feel good. In this home in particular, we did not have a budget to raise the ceilings across the house. It was like seven and a half foot ceilings, eight foot in some areas. But what we were able to do in the foyer is add several feet and it made it feel a lot grander. So one of my pro tips always is if you can raise the ceiling in your foyer, do it. That's something where you walk in and it just gives you that grand feel. Again, it sets the tone for the rest of your home for many, many, many years to come. Moving into the kitchen. What we had to work with before was just old. There were like old school cabinets, cabinet doors were falling off, the appliances were obviously super old. We definitely upgraded. We brought in a beautiful black and brass Lockhorn new range and it's exceptional. And we really just brought in another level of detail. It's not your standard kitchen. Tied in some brass, we've got beautiful plumbing and light fixtures, pendants over the island. We have sconces flanking the window above the floating shelves. Overall, the kitchen is an incredible hosting space. There are some really interesting design details in there that we think sets it apart. All right, next up, so this place kind of felt like a Roman bath spa place. It had massive pillars, the tub was in the middle, there were skylights everywhere. It was extraordinarily gaudy. So we came in and just gutted it. We honestly did not keep any of the original features. So when you walk in now, we have beautiful windows framing a standalone tub that's black, his and her vanities, his and her closets. But otherwise, the overall aesthetic of the room falls in line with everything we put throughout the home. The blacks, the whites, the chicness, the farmhouse, the modern, and it really brings all of those designs together while still bringing in a very sophisticated look with horizontal shiplap as a wainscot around the walls to tie in the farmhouse elements and then beautiful plumbing fixtures and sconces flanking the mirror uh, to just pizzazz the space up a little bit. Secondary bathrooms and bedrooms typically are an afterthought. In this case, not at all. We actually went above and beyond. Um, the existing spaces were just what you would think. So we went in and spruced everything up from the little girl's room where she's got this gorgeous flower wall, a beautiful chandelier, and then the little boy's room. And there we went with more of a transitional look because he's three right now and we know that he's gonna grow into this room so we didn't wanna make it too little boyish. So we went with this gorgeous board and batten design that goes three quarter way up the wall and we put a ledge on it. And then from the top of that onto the ceiling, it's all black. Where in a lot of cases, most people are really afraid to go black ceiling. Here, not at all. This client was like down to just step out of their comfort zone, try new things, make it bold. And as you can see throughout the entire house, it was worth it. Like every room and wall has a special feature. Next up, one of my favorite rooms, it almost got cut from the budget when we were doing all the analysis, but we made room for it, is the theater. We actually took some space from the hallway and areas by the pantry that made sense to, to make small 
smaller to make the theater a bit bigger. We did the tier levels. Uh, it's carpeted, we've got soundproof, huge projection screen that drops down. I mean, awesome space. Uh, and then one of my favorite aspects of that space though is the bathroom to the theater. It's a bedroom with an ensuite, so it's connected to it, but it has a very old Hollywood glam vibe. And we have this beautiful tile that has brass stars in the middle. We have the authentic Beverly Hills Hotel wallpaper on the uh, vanity wall. And all the other details in there are just exceptional. And I think that it really livens up a theater bathroom. So not only do we have all the amenities like the sport court, an amazing pool. And then on top of that is the landscaping. The landscaping is incredible. A lot of the windows, the view outside of them is a perfectly placed 50 year old olive tree. Like I mentioned, the home is that 1950s estate. It was traditional. I think the olive trees in the landscaping really elevate a space. All in all, this reveal has been so much fun for me. So many incredible details throughout it. So many fun moments. And ultimately at the end of the day, I just strive for them to move in and absolutely love where they live.